hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Jerry from G dot experience today I am in Germany I'm in south of Germany in the city called Heilbronn Heilbronn is located in about 40 kilometers away from the headquarter of Baden-Württemberg state in Germany in south of Germany it's a city with about 120 thousand people it's an industrial region a lot of industries here a lot of foreigners you have Turkish people you have people from Asia and obviously people from Africa as well and uh, not only the industry you also have a lot of schools a lot of universities and this is a city where I've been to universities in Germany it has a particular uh, attention in my heart this is Heilbronn and I would just like to show you today one of the main street which is the Bahnhofstrasse actually I am at the train station as you can see behind this is the train station in Heilbronn and I'm going to take you through one of the main street which is the Bahnhofstrasse we start from here we are going to walk this street until the end and let us guys start in showing Heilbronn so as I said this is the train station this is the train station of Heilbronn called Hauptbahnhof and from this train station, as I say, you can go to Stuttgart. You can also go to Karlsruhe, which is a, an important university city in Germany with one of the famous technology universities, the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. The train going to Karlsruhe are coming from this direction. Or when you want to go to Karlsruhe, you take the tram here and you head to this, to this direction. So that's a train station. So I've been here the first time, I would say 20 years ago. And uh, yeah, it hasn't changed that much. It hasn't changed that much. And here we also have one of the central bus stations. So the bus are coming from here. And here you can take some tram to go through the city and to other cities as well. So let us guys start it walking. Walking along the Bahnhofstrasse and uh, just for your information, so in Germany, the streets in front of the train station are almost all called Bahnhofstrasse. So if you can, you want to translate, it literally means um, street of the train station. They all have the same name. So we are now in the Bahnhofstrasse, heading to the city center of the beautiful city. The city that I have in my heart, the city of Heilbronn. And there is one innovation here. What you see here, this building that you see, it's a parking, it's a parking house for for bike, right? It's an automated one. So that was not before. That when I was here, that was not there. People were parking the bicycle here. But they created this thing, this is automated, and it has more capacity. This is nice. So let us move guys. We have some hotel, some hotel here. So this is something that they built also like five or six years ago. And uh, on the other side, we see this nice facade. Those are post offices, right? Those are post offices. And just for the small story, Heilbronn has been totally destroyed during the Second World War, the city center, right? It had been destroyed and uh, they started building it two years later. That's why you won't see that much old building here. They, they are all modern one, but you will see those facades that they reconstructed. And uh, yeah, that's the history of Germany. So that's Heilbronn. It's impressive to see how the streets are almost empty you don't see a lot of people when you come here during the day you will see a lot of cars obviously and uh, also at the same time the same time a lot of people I bro so right okay it's look like a ghost city Well, I was just planning. I want. I was not planning to to make this vlog. It just comes spontaneous as I was in the area, 
and I said, okay, why not taking advantage of this to do a vlog, a short vlog on the beautiful, my city in Heilbronn. And uh, yeah, I will do more, more vlogs on this city. I'm planning to come here quite often to, to show the city, but yeah, that's it. So we are heading now to the center of the city. Quite empty today. Uh, we used to have DHL there, you know, and for information, so the, the German postal service is DHL. So it's a German concern. And they used to have, if I'm not mistaken, the dispatching, one of the dispatching area over there. <coughs> but it seems like it's last change. All right. Those are the blue, the blue buses, which are going through the city. But you can also take, take the tram, right? You can also take the tram to go to certain area of the city, and to the other town, town, uh, not so far from from Heilbronn. Yeah. Great. Yeah, those are the blue buses. And I remember the bus that I was taking to go to the university. That was the bus one. And I was changing either at the train station or or somewhere there in the city center to take the 61 that was bringing me to the neighborhood called Zontheim where we have the University of Applied Sciences where I have been for some years and you have those those parking those parking places that have been built recently and behind that I mean I have to come back to Hebron to do a a proper interesting vlog you have a kind of technology park 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 behind behind those those parking place and uh, quite interesting to see it is called experimenta where you can come with family with children and they will experience real technology you know germany is a technology country so they will they will experience some something in with electricity mechanics and so on and uh, I know that they also have some some self-driving vehicles small buses robot driving through the city it's quite interesting I will take those ones so they have no drivers and uh, it's always impressive to show those things driving in the city I will come back to Hybron to do a proper vlog guys so we are here at the Hotel Hibis so at the city center and you have people waiting there is a touristic bus um, also, it's an innovation for me. So when I was here um, um, 20 years ago, they were not not those buses, right? The 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 touristic bus like you used to see in big cities. Now they have that in Hadron, and for sure next time that I will come here, we will discover the city also with those with those buses. Here we see the Santa the Bank. Yeah, one of the banks, the multiple banks that we have in 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 Heilbronn. All right. So that's a tram a tram station here, right? That's a tram station, and at the same time you have the the bus station, the bus station in this place. So from here. Uh, going to my university will take you like 10 to 12 minutes by bus so it's not that not that far
that's one of the building of the technology park I was mentioning before so behind there yeah the vlogs in Halbron are going to be interesting so that's one of the tram the yellow tram of Halbron heading to the train station and this building is called Neka tomb so here I know you have a private university a business school here and down there you have these these restaurant they call it beer garden here because you can sit outside and have a beer so it's been here since I I came here so quite an old restaurant in Heilbronn and you are now we are now coming to one of the iconic place in this city is the Hinzel Hotel so this is one of the famous city in Heilbronn uh, hotel in, in Heilbronn and we call it Hinzel Hotel because you see here you have a river called the Neckar right the river called the Neckar going in many places in the south of Germany and this hotel is built on a kind of highland right you see an artificial island here starting from here and there you will see the you will see the hotel so when you look at the hotel from the top you will see that it is really in the middle of the river in the in the island ah yeah i forgot you also have the red buses in Heilbronn so the rest bus the red buses usually um, do not drive um, through the city there are more regional buses going in 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 some town a little bit far away far away from here so you have in terms of transportation it is really great this tram is going to the city of Karlsruhe right it's going to Karlsruhe as I told at the beginning of the video so that will also be an interesting vlog that I will be doing when I will start shooting video for you guys here in Germany okay so let us head to the center of the city and as I said this is the Neckar River so that's the Neckar River and this is not a sheaf so it used to be a sheaf but it's more theater right it's more theater it is like grounded and it has a theater it's called theater sheaf even so it has a restaurant and down you have the the stage where they used to play some some nice pieces I personally haven't been there haven't been there but uh, yeah it looks great from inside from the picture that I already saw and you have a lot of bars here along along the river so in the afternoon that will be crazy crowded and also on the other side on the other side more on the side of the technology park behind the hotel so you have some some restaurants and so on okay Heilbronn I always feel like home when I'm here you know moving from from uh, from Cameroon in Central Africa to, to study here so I spent so many years here that everywhere that I'm going once I come back here I really feel at home okay so we have the green man so we are good to cross over the road something also very important in Germany we need to respect the traffic lights guys <laughs> I saw it different in some other European countries not so far from here where the traffic lights are just like a symbol <laughs> no one is respecting them but anyway in Germany it is not like that so those are our famous our famous blue buses riding number 10 going to the hospital in in Heilbronn so they also have a big hospital here and that's the, the the line 
going to that hospital. So, we are now in the city center of Heilbronn. And by the way, the, the city is really green, right? The city is green. So just come here in two months, you will see leaves on those trees everywhere. Nice. Now we are, guys, we have reached the town hall of Heilbronn. Look at this. Bang. You see? That's the town hall of the city of Heilbronn. They are celebrating weddings here and um, all the administrative stuff. Uh, when you are foreigners, I know this place very well. I used to come here many times to extend my visa and uh, yeah, I know sweet memories. So that's the center of the beautiful, the beautiful town hall where you have the mayor and all his offices and the immigration offices offices are there over there right so here and here you don't see any cars so the cars are not allowed to to come here you will only have the tram and and the different the different buses so another iconic place in Heilbronn the town Hall, we call it in German a Rathaus, beside the Insel Hotel, the hotel on the island that we saw over there. We also have the Kilian Kirche. So it is sunny, I don't know if you see something with a big dome. Um, that's not a Catholic church, I think it's an evangelic church, if I'm not mistaken. And the Catholic church is also in this area. So that's the the Kilian, the Kilian Kirche, yeah, it's an evangelic church. So I'm reading here, Evangelische Kilian Kirche and Gemeinde. So it is a, it is an evangelic church. And um, let us, let us go here, guys. I will show you the, the Kilian, the Kilian Platz. Also a nice place, a nice spot when you come to to Heilbronn. Okay. Very good. Yeah. That's the Kilian Platz. And that's the church. It's huge. Really huge, guys. Okay. We are in the heart of the city of Heilbronn and particularly in the Kilian Platz. Yeah, you see a lot of shops here. CNA, New Yorker, Muller. I don't know what is Volvort. It's the first time that I see that. Also restaurant everywhere. I see a Starbucks here. Yeah? And uh, if you move there, you will see some some gallery, Galleria Kaufhof, and they also have a big shopping house um, close to close to that. So let us go back to the to the street. So during the normal days and the weekend, this place is just fully crowded fully crowded with people so amazing all right okay Okay, that's Heilbronn. So, 
we were somewhere there we just went to the left and then came back from here to the street yeah. and when you take this road you will have restaurants everywhere so Saturday evening and Friday full of life full of people really nice and you have the theater also one of the biggest theater here in Heilbronn which is at the end at the end of this of this street okay Pretty sure that in the afternoon we will see more people here. Right. With this long weekend, still at home, but uh, the weather will also be super nice today, so we will expect many people coming here in the afternoon. Pigeon? Hi, my friend. And also something that I didn't mention, so the city of Harbron is known also for the wine, right? It is a city surrounded by wine, wine yards. So we see that everywhere. We have some mountain there, I don't know if you can see. We have some mountain over there, but that will be part of my vlog. So you have a lot of wine yards and also at the university, they have a, a, a unit called business management for the wine industry so it's a specialized industry and you can study that at the university the University of Heilbronn so we are now um, in one of the main roads here it is called Allée Allée Post and now you see we have some rails going to the left this is something that they built uh, some years ago it was not the case so the rails were just going into that direction but now they can move to the left to go some to other towns here so what this is one of the main the main avenue and main road in 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 Heilbronn. so now i'm moving to the right i will be showing um one of the places where all buses stop and it is called Ali Post. Right, you have all buses stopping there. And if you want to change to go to some other direction, you need to change in this in these places. And um, yeah, that was my road during my university years. I was always stopping stopping there to change the bus. It's kind of home. It's, it's feel like home here here in Heilbronn so that's a building that they completely renovated so it wasn't like that before so they did a lot of renovation and you have also here in the middle you have some bars and so on wow Halbon has changed a lot I will end this vlog there at the bus stop in Ali Post Full of nice memories in this place all right and alley post because that's a post office right that's a post office over there and um, and this bus stop is just called Alley Post.
So that's here. Alley post vest. Exactly. And you will see the table showing the different buses and when they are going to, to come and leave and leave this place. So here, this is Heilbronn and the building that you see here is a building of the main newspaper of the region called Heilbronner Stimme. If I translate it to English, this is the voice of Heilbronn. Uh, it's at the main the, the main newspaper and that's the building and I see that is also the 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 building of Radio Tone which is I think one of the most famous radio station in in Heilbronn right so now guys it was a pleasure for me to show you Heilbronn it is my first city really in Germany this is where I studied and um, as I said the city had developed a lot I left this city about 12 years ago and um, it's always a pleasure for me to to come back here I used to come from time to time but um, I'm planning to do an interesting vlog some more interesting vlogs on these cities on the changes the the usage of the technology that we see here in Heilbronn, which is representative of Germany, a strong, a strong country in terms of technology. This is worldwide known. And um, yeah, it will be a pleasure for me to, to show you Heilbronn and also Karlsruhe, where I have made my German language before moving to study to Heilbronn. So guys, this was Jerry from G. Experience. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button, leave a comment and share the video. See you next time guys. Cheers.